Hello friends, new comparison, two brand new new age tractor models are compared, both released at 2022, so from one side we have the new Massey Ferguson 8S285, which is the new second largest model of awarded 8S series of Ferguson, against the largest new model of 700 Vario series of Fent, the 728 Vario Gen 7, both are freshly released and they compete each other on 300 horses, let's see which is better for the field, by the way subscribe like and share this channel so we will grow more, let's start. From one side the Ferguson wears the Agco power engine of 7.4 liters and 6 cylinders, Fent has about the same size engine, very slightly larger, the Agco power of 7.5 liters and 6 cylinders, they are almost the same, so here you choose. The gross power of Ferguson is 285 horses and it can touch the 305 max, Fent has slightly lower power starting from 283 horses and touching the 303 max, so the difference is 2 horses on overall. The PTO of Ferguson touches the 249 horses, fence is not public yet, but you're gonna see it at the pinned comment when it released, so you'll know which of the two comes first on PTO. The peak torque of Ferguson is at 1280 Newton meters at 1000 to 1500 revolutions per minute, fence is much higher despite the lower horsepower and Neil Rice aim engine touching the 1450 newton meters at 1300 revolutions per minute so the 728 vario is the king of the torque here the rear lift hitch of the ferguson is at 10000 kilograms with the front one touching the 4800 max fence rear max lift from the other side is higher touching the 11050 kilograms and the front one also higher than fence at 5200 so fence has the advantage on overall hydraulic lifts also the top road speed of Ferguson is at 53 km per hour max, with 1850 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed, wearing the Dyna E-Power, Dyna 7 or Dyna VT transmission and a max fuel tank capacity of 460 liters, or 500 liters on Dyna VT, and 43 liters of AdBlue tank capacity. Some of the exclusive cabine innovations are, automatic air conditioning with multi-zone flow management, roof hatch, semi-leather automatic air suspended swivel seat, heated, ventilated, lateral damping, active mechanical cab suspension, radio, front auxin, Bluetooth, USB connector, DAP plus, with integrated microphone, controls and armrest, adjustable steering column with memory tilt and speed steer, radar and slip control, Datatronic 5 touchscreen terminal, headlamp management system and more. Fent from the other side is faster on road, touching the 60 km per hour with 1,700 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed, wearing the TIA 190 Vario transmission and a max fuel tank capacity of 450 liters, and 48 liters of Ad Blue tank. Some of the cabine innovations are, pneumatic cab suspension, three-point with integral self-leveling, super comfort seat titanium leather, DL electric, height and tilt adjustable steering column, cooler and thermal box, segment windscreen wipe, comfort mirror plus clear and slight mechanically adjustable, roof mounted rear camera, hood mounted front camera, universal mobile phone holder, infotainment bundle with 4.1 sound system, 4 camera connections, 4 USB ports, electric battery disconnect switch, low beam and high beam LED and more. So, we saw which has more innovations and which comes better on general output, let's now compare the size. The gross weight of Fent is at 9650 kg. Ferguson is lighter, at 8,700 kg and it can touch the 10,000 kg of average weight. The max length of Fent is at 5.5 meters, Ferguson's is at 5.3 meters. The wheelbase of Fent is at 2.9 meters, Ferguson's is at 3.05 meters. The total height of Fent with Fent Guide is at 3.3 meters, Ferguson is taller, at 3.4 meters. So as a conclusion, the differences are small but we will mention them, the Ferguson has two horses higher gross and boosted power, this is the only advantage on output against Fent, as about the size it is larger wheelbase it is a slightly lighter tractor on minimum weight and also taller on size. Fent from the other side has slightly larger engine, not a big difference, also much higher torque than Fent and here is the big basic difference, it has higher rear and front hydraulic lift capacities, it is faster on road speed, with lower RPM on rated engine speed and smaller fuel tank capacity, also it is longer on size. PTO difference coming soon. So guys, as you see the Fent comes much better on overall performance on 300 horsepower level, both come from the same company, but the differences are many, waiting your comments, which of the two would you choose? Subscribe us for more videos, have fun.